getting some breaking news coming in from Delhi at this point in time. We'll come back to what's happening in Tamil Nadu. We've just been told that the enforcement directed officials have reached Kejriwal's residence. This is the latest that we are picking up. And this is a big update from the national capital that's just coming in after the High Court denied relief to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Right now, enforcement directed officials at his residence, they have turned the heat on the Delhi Chief Minister. We've also noticed just a few days ago, of course, uh, K. Kavita being questioned and then eventually picked up by the enforcement directorate that led to massive protest in uh, Telangana. And right now, it looks like the action is shifted to Delhi. This is, of course, in connection with the uh, liquor gate scam. The enforcement directorate in the past have made multiple arrests, especially political personalities connected to the Amadmi party. Very recently, a press release as well that came out where the Delhi chief minister's name as well found a prominent mention there. And right now, Enforcement Directorate officials at the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. It is now, this just comes a few hours after there was no relief that came in from the Delhi High Court. As far as any relief from arrest or investigation in this particular matter is concerned. And right now, immediately we are looking at uh, this development here as the Enforcement Directorate officials landing up at the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. Well, uh, this definitely, of course, makes things quite interesting. Uh, this is the liquor gate uh, scam where the enforcement directorate has been investigating it from various uh, angles. But right now, of course, the radar on the Delhi chief minister. Now, we should note that multiple people have been questioned in the past. We've seen some high profile arrests as well. Very recently, of course, K. Kavita being taken into custody raised a lot of questions. We've seen the opposition cry foul over the Enforcement Directorate's uh, actions in this. But the uh, uh, Enforcement Directorate, of course, has been making it very clear that they are going as per protocol. This is a clear-cut investigation. There is, of course, proof and evidence that they have gathered. And based on that, these, where these you know, aspects have come into the fore where either people have been questioned or taken into custody. Will this mean that there will be yet another drama, political drama in Delhi. This is also something that comes into picture here with now the Enforcement Directorate officials landing up at uh, the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Now we should note that just earlier in the day, the Delhi High Court of course had refused to grant any interim protection from coercive action to Arvind Kejriwal. This is in connection of course like I mentioned with the Enforcement Directorate summons that were issued to him. This is in the Delhi Excise Policy case. And right now, at the national capital, a lot of drama that could unfold in the next couple of hours as the Enforcement Directorate has just reached Arvind Kejriwal's residence there in New Delhi. My colleague Priyank Tripathi joins us on the phone line. Priyank, if you could take us through the latest. We are looking at some pictures there from Mr. Kejriwal's residence. If you could walk us through what exactly is happening. Uh, these are the very dramatic turn of event at uh, uh, the CM of Delhi's residence where the, he has already skipped uh, nine summons sent by the enforcement district in the alleged exercise policy case. Uh, today, once again, they moved to a higher court where uh, they were seeking some uh, kind of relief to the court where uh, they had moved an application so that no policy action should be taken against Adi Sejwal, even if he appears for the uh, 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 for this uh, particular summon, which was sent to him. Uh, but uh, the court has uh, not given any kind of relief to Arjun Kejriwal. And now the enforcement retains the two hours of uh, getting the order copy from the court, where the no positive action has been mentioned. The ED team official, which is a 12 member team, uh, considering uh, the IU and Rogender, has been to the residence of Arjun Kejriwal. Uh, it's going to be very important to see that whether Arjun Kejriwal is in charge of the summon or the ED officials are carrying out way. Uh, we are yet to, uh, yet to get any kind of information from the post and the trade, whether uh, which is called it's a raid or which is called it just a uh, stopping of the summons. But looking at 12 officers reaching at the distance of Arjun it's quite possible uh, that uh, they can carry out searches also. Right, Priyank, keep a close track of all the developments there. This could get very interesting with the Enforcement Directorate reaching Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence. We are closely monitoring all the developments. We are slipping into a quick break on the other side. What's happening in Tamil Nadu? We just spoke about the list that has been released by the BJP. Does this 